Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and for today's videos, we're gonna show you a method on how to test the electric fan on your Mercedes. So with the new models, we have flex rate communications and with this communications, we have a different way to control the fan. In older models, VCU N3-10 will directly controls the electric fan M4-7 using pulse width module, VWM. In the older models, VCU is receiving the information like the coolant temperature and refrigerant pressure to send the corresponding VWM in order to control the electric fan. This method is using on the Mercedes E200 W212 in which I will show you how to measure later on in these videos. In newer models, the flex rate communications will contain the N127's powertrain control module. The ECU is still once again receiving the information such as the coolant temperature and the refrigerant pressure and send the signal to our powertrain control module through CAN bus C1. And from the powertrain control module, it will transfer the lean bus signal to control the electric fan. This method is using on the Mercedes C250 W205 model 2018. And with that being said, I'm going to show you how to measure the BWM signal to control the fan on our Mercedes E200 W212 using a multimeter and an oscilloscope. So I've already propped the wire to receive the BWM signal in voltage controlling our fan. On the multimeters, by using DC voltage scale, we can see that there is 1.13 volts displaying on the screen. Even though we're having signal, but it's not strong enough to exceed the load and therefore cannot control our fan yet. Now, I will use sentries to activate the fan independently. There are some prerequisites that we must follow, such as the combustion engines at standstill and the ignition is on. Press continue. Okay, so pay attention to both the sentry and the multimeters. I will increase the speed of the electric fan. As you can see, there are changes on the multimeters and the fan is starting to run. So at 20%, the average voltage is 2.16 volt. I will increase it. 30%, 40%. Fifty percent, sixty percent, seventy percent, eighty percent, and ninety percent. The maximum signal output is at ninety percent, and the voltage is approximately nine point twenty-four volts. So you can see the fan is running at full speed. Right, so now I will drop the speed 80 percent 70 percent 50 percent 50 percent 40 percent 30 percent 20 percent and 10 percent so and one more thing to the test we can see that the fan is a 12 volt unit not a 5 volt
So after using the multimeters, I will demonstrate how you use an oscilloscope to receive the BWM signal. I will reprop the wire with Sentry and the HandTech and we shall take a look at both of them. So you can see, as I increase the fan speed, you can see that the pulse width is becoming wider. And I do recycle of 90%. The positive pulse width is 90% and the negative pulse width is only 10%. The fan is running at full speed and these tools are the most basic and easiest ways to perform a test on the electric fan. So in conclusions, there are two types of methods to control the actuations of the electric fan. In the older models, the ECU controls directly by using PWM and in the newer models, the ECU is using the powertrain control module to operate the fan via flex ray. I've just showed you how to test the electric fan in particular by using a multimeters and oscilloscope on a Mercedes E200 W212 which is the older models. If you have any questions or difficulties, feel free to reach us and we will help you as much as possible. Till then, we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.